Here is an easy way to understand Humminbird site images. What I have here is actually a printout of a screen capture from a Humminbird site image. As you can see on the right here, we have a bluff. This area right here is actually out of the water because it's real dark and black. On the left side, we show that same bluff, the point that we've extracted over here. This area from here is the oldest data to the newest data. This area is the direction the boat traveled from this point going forward. The area here and here is what we call the water column. And the easiest way to understand that is with slant angle technology, Humminbird has laid this all out flat. In real life, it would have been traveled exactly like this. You would not have been able to see anything if it was vertically under the boat if you would have displayed only the boat position. As you can see, by that way, by Humminbird laying that out, we're able to show fish and we're able to show depth here. In this image, if we look, we were at 77.2 feet from the center line to the depth here. We are actually going out to 150 foot area of coverage on both sides. Here's another example. This is showing a brush pile. If we go right into here, we can see the brush pile. This would be as if we took, showed none of the water column. What's on the right hand side and what's on the left hand side. I have folded this to hide the water column. As you can see, see it's the boat path is right down the center with the right and the left. In this example, we are in 34 and a half foot of water, but you can, with slant angle technology, we're able to show this brush pile actually on both sides. The boat actually went dead over the center of this image. Now this is a very interesting image here. This is a huge tree that was split exactly down the center as the boat traveled from the oldest data to the newest data. So we approached the branches first before we got to the trunk. Actually on this side we can see a roadbed leading off. This allows us, with if we had slant angle technology, we drove exactly right over the top of this boat and what you would see is the branches, the shadows from the branches on both sides. But with slant angle technology, we're actually showing that vertical surface there of that that tree. This is shoot, seeing what the right side uh, cone, sonar beam seen. This is actually showing the left side. Now one thing that's interesting here is if we look back at our picture, it was narrower from this point to this point. So that tells us that it was shallow water. This point down here to this point here it was deeper. So if we actually look at this image, it is deeper from this point to here than it was from this point here. Actually in this image we were looking at 24.6 foot. That depth rating is from this point to this point. The interesting thing is when we start taking 2D sonar, as we're showing Humminbird's 2D sonar on the left hand side of this screen capture, and the down imaging vision. There is, this, there is Humminbird's down imaging on the right hand side with the 2D sonar on the left hand side compared to our side imaging shot of the exact same object. See how much easier it is to tell vertical height with our down imaging or 2D sonar versus side imaging we see the tree, we can tell verticalness in the water column, but the nice thing with side imaging is we can tell objects that are farther away. We see this nice roadbed, if you can see there, that nice roadbed, actually a little drop off right up here. That was not shown, cannot be shown in our down imaging. It's nowhere to be seen. 
So actually in combination down imaging and side imaging is a very useful tool. Now in this last image, we're, this is actually from a trolling motor mounted side imaging unit. What we're actually seeing here is a very narrow water column. This one we're actually looking at 6.1 foot of water depth. And actually what we have done is we have passed over a barge. The barge extended off to the left and to the right. There is our barge. As you notice, we got in shallower water here. For example, in this one, I've got a little more creative, and if we folded that water column to, or folded this image to show only, only the depth that we're actually in, we would have an example like this. And we could actually bring in the barge. Now if we look at this sideways, we can see the depth that that barge was actually underneath the water. It was very shallow. Tried to make a 3D representation to help show the way this image is. And if we look at that water column, you see our water columns right here. And in the image, it actually came up and across was our barge depth, which we are representing by the cutout we have here. And the same way we can see on this side. See how the water column, the barge coming up and over, and drops back off. I hope this explains how Humminbird uses slant angle technology and shows you everything underneath the boat, to the right side, and to the left side. There is no area of not covered with Humminbird side imaging. Again, here is that image with our water column taking out of the picture and our barge. With the water column back, we see the barge on the right and the barge on the left. With our 3D image there, we go back to our tree. No water column with the water column shown. Basically, we've taken that water column and flatten it out for you. So make it allows it easier to see vertical height like we see in this tree. If not you would just had a it would be just like my hand. You'd only see the top finger versus seeing all the fingers. They're in a row. You can't see them down if we pictured it like this, but turning it sideways we can see all four fingers. This is Doug Barnberg and I hope you enjoyed one more tip and trick uh, understanding the side imaging image and how it's and how it's laid out in the on the screen to make it easier for you to find and to find everything that's located in that lake. If you have any questions join us on the Yahoo group or check out my website. I've got a lot more information on there. Thank you and look forward for the next tip.